I'll be showing 11 new features in Word for Office 365. This includes the PC, Mac, and Word for the web. So let's get started. The first new feature is the modern Office UI and Word is part of that. Right now, this pattern is matched to the Windows system settings and that is the new default for Office. You can see it's much cleaner up top. To turn this on, there's this little switch here that says upcoming features. You have to be part of Office 365 but I've turned on try the new experience and now you have this fresh look. To change your theme to colorful, that's the one I like. I'll go to the file menu, choose account, go to office theme and you can see it says use system setting. I'll drop that and choose colorful. And now I've got the word blue at the top. There are also changes to the office quick access toolbar. So I'm gonna right click on the toolbar here and choose show quick access toolbar. And right now I can just drop this down and add things. So I might add read aloud, We'll add editor and maybe print preview and print. So it's kind of nice to have this right here for handy access to other features. If you want to move the quick access toolbar on top of the ribbon like it used to be, go drop this down and choose show above the ribbon. And now the quick access toolbar is right there. I'll put it back down underneath. Show below. The second new feature is a dramatically improved read aloud voice. We're using neural text to speech in Word and my team actually works on this so I'm pretty excited. I'll choose the area that I want to start reading in my document so I've clicked on unfortunately here and then go to the review tab and choose read aloud. Unfortunately, though deforestation is now widely discussed. The little the toolbar systematic... is in the upper right and I can jump between paragraphs. I can also choose between voices and reading speeds. So the male voice is also now neural text to speech. Let's listen to that. Choose read aloud. Unfortunately, though deforestation is now widely discussed, the systematic deforest. So really high quality read aloud. I've also added it right here to my quick access toolbar so I can go and listen to any part of my document with that high quality read aloud voice. As a bonus, if you use the immersive reader, so I'll go to the view tab and choose immersive reader and turn on line focus as well. The new read aloud experience works here too. Let's listen. Deforestation is often driven by a desire for cattle ranching. The third new feature in Word for Office 365 is updates to Editor to make it have parity with the web version of Editor in Word. Editor is like the next gen spell checker. It's gone way beyond the past spell checker. If you want a full deep dive on how Editor works, check out the link up in the upper right. I'll just show the quick updates. So if I go to the review tab here, you'll see Editor and I'll launch that. What editor does is it gives you a score. So I have 44% and right now it's set for formal writing. I could choose professional or casual as the type of document and editor will recalculate my score. I have all the classic things like spelling errors so I could walk through my spelling, also grammar errors and it lets me go through grammar errors. But the new improvements and refinements are things like clarity, conciseness, formality, inclusiveness. So I go here, it's highlighting stewardesses, probably not the best word to use. I'll go back here, punctuation conventions and other things. And you can update the options to what editor will check for. Editor also now wires up to our similarity checker, which is something that Microsoft has made available for Office 365 customers. The next set of features are improvements in Word for the web. So feature number four is track changes improvements in a Word for the web document. I have a document right here. I'm gonna to go to the review tab and I'll go over and turn on track changes. And we'll make it for everyone. Now to show how this works, I don't even need somebody collaborating because it's really easy to make the updates and just show how this works. I'm gonna scroll down and maybe I've got a sentence or two right here that I just wanna delete. So I'll highlight right here and I'll hit delete. Now it marks it up with the red cross out. Now if I hover like this, I click to view suggestions and it shows exactly what I did. Deleted, the Amazon is also a great natural resource and I can accept or reject the suggestion. By hovering on the check mark green, it shows it like this or X like this. I'm gonna choose accept and watch what happens. It just disappears and rolls that back up. The fifth new feature is when you search your Word document in Word for the web, it also searches comment text. So I have a document here and I'm gonna go and show comments. And now I'm also gonna do control F and we'll search for the word pink and hit enter. Hey, it found this comment. Can we make this purple and not pink right here? So now you can search through all the text, including your comments. The sixth new feature is also a commenting one in Word for the web, and that is that you can now delete all your comments at once. This is a desktop feature that is now brought into Word for the web. 
So I've got my comment pane open here. I'm gonna to go to the review tab right here, drop down, delete, and I can choose delete all comments or just the resolve comments. In this case, I'll choose to delete all comments. Click this, blast them all away. The seventh new feature is an improved insert online video. So I'm gonna click here to insert an online video and hit enter. I'll go to the insert menu and I'm gonna choose online video. Now I get a nice rich dialogue that shows all of the video that Word for the Web supports via OEmbed, YouTube, SlideShare, Flipgrid, Stream, and more. I'm gonna paste a YouTube video right here. It pulls up a nice preview. Hey, top 20 tips and tricks for Word by this guy, Mike Dolphson. Now I'm gonna insert this video right onto the page, so I'll click insert. Now I've got that interactive embed. I can play it right here. I'll be showing hey, my top 20 Microsoft so that's a nice way to make your documents more rich and interactive. The eighth new feature is another one that exists in desktop and now is in Word for the web, and that is delete a cell in a table. So I have a table right here, and I wanna delete this cell. I'm gonna click next to this cell here. Now go to the table menu, drop down, delete, and you're gonna see a new option for cell. Choose that, and I get the choices. Shift them up, shift them, and I get four choices. Shift cells left, up, delete the entire row or the column. I'm gonna choose shift cells up and it's gonna make it look a little jagged. I'll click okay. And now it shifted all those cells up when I deleted that one right there. And now it shifted this one cell up when I deleted the other one, looks a little jagged. I'll do another one here, I'll click, I'll choose table and then delete. And this time I'm gonna choose cell and I'll choose delete the entire column, hit okay. And now my table's even smaller. So those are both available in Word for the web now. The last three new features are all in Word for the Mac. The ninth new feature is that we've brought Editor to Word for the Mac. Like you saw earlier in desktop and PC, we have Editor there, it's in the web, and now the really powerful natural language processing, and I call it next gen spell checker, is part of Word for the Mac as well. Now I have my document here, and I'll go to the review tab and go over on the left, and I will click Editor. This opens up a very similar pane like we saw earlier, spelling, grammar, clarity, conciseness, all these great improvements. So now if I go over here, I'm gonna go click on clarity. And it highlights one right here and it gives some suggestions about how I might change my document to make it more clear. I'll go click back. And it also has things like spelling and grammar and some other ones. So here's an example of grammar options right here. And we'll go back. And the editor score is right there, 69%. So this is now rolled out to the Mac. The 10th new feature is the similarity checker is now part of Word for the Mac. The similarity checker is a tool that's built into Word that'll go and automatically check online for a whole set of possible plagiarism or if you forget to cite something. So an example in this document, I've pasted some stuff from online sources, uh-oh. This is also part of Word desktop and web as well. I'm here in Word and I'll click on the review menu and I'll go over and click editor just like before. The editor pane is now open and over on the right hand side in the lower right, you're gonna see this new option that says similarity. I'm gonna go down there and when I click it, it's gonna check online for sources that I might already have in here that I pasted. So let's click that. Now it's gonna check online, it's checking. Hey, it found some similarities. It found six of them. Ooh, a lot of copying I've been doing. So you can see here, it lets me go over and add the in-text citation, or I can copy the full text citation. So this little pop-up here shows exactly where I pasted from. Hmm, it looks like I found something on kids saving the rainforest. And you'll see over here, I reviewed that similarity, and it's one out of six, and 4% of my text is similar to online sources. Wow, that's not too good. I can tap the arrow here to go to the next one. Now I can click copy full citation like I will here. I could also add it directly, but I'll click copy. Now I'll click away and I'm gonna go add a line in here. So I'll go and add a line and now I'll just paste that citation and then clean it up a little bit. There we go. To learn more about the similarity checker, there's a link in the description and you can get a lot more details on exactly how it works and how it scans and what types of things it's looking at. The 11th new feature is dark mode for Mac. So pull up your search in Mac, type settings, and then go over and choose general and choose dark under appearance. Hey, now you're in dark mode. And as a bonus, I'm gonna close this, go to the view menu, choose switch modes, and you can switch between light and dark and back again. 
If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest videos I'll be releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell to keep notified for all the latest posts.